Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to do a review on this Kohler Elongated Bowl Toilet Seat. And I'm also going to show you how to install it. So this is their quiet close technology. I really like these, that the lids don't slam down. And it tells you the first thing to check is make sure this is for elongated and not a normal round bowl. On the front of the box it even tells you 18 and 5 8 from the bowl or from this part here to where those holes are. Okay, so on this it says it's model number 4636-0. And then there's the directions on how to install it are right here on it. Okay, so let's go ahead and take it out of the plastic. We've got some hinge parts look right here. Okay, so in the bag you've got two screws. These are the nuts that are going to go on the bottom. That's what the screws thread into. And then these are the bumpers for the toilet seat. And so you're going to install these on this right here. This is what rests up against the porcelain toilet. So they got kind of a grippy rubber white end. That's going to stick towards the toilet and this kind of plasticky part goes inside. So you want to snap these in. They'll be sort of flush but stick up just a little bit. So go ahead and put both of these in and then we'll be ready to go. So this is their soft close technology. So when the hinge is mounted, you'll see the toilet seat closes nice and soft. It never slams. I really like these toilet seats. And so back here where the hinge is, these little things are going to lift up and they're going to expose. This is where you're going to put the screws through. You're going to put the screws through there. And on the bottom of the toilet, that's where these nuts are. Okay, so these black things have got a plus symbol on them. So they do come out. This is part of their quick release feature of it. So that plus symbol is going to go towards the toilet seat. And if we look here, it fits in here. There's a little groove for it to fit in. That's where your screw is going to go through. But you can remove these toilet seats if you lift. Once you've got the toilet seat installed, you can lift this up and this should pull past that. And again, so you're going to start off with the plus sign on both of them towards the toilet seat. But if, you, if your adjustment's not quite right as far as front to back, you can turn this around and put the front, put the pot to put the plus symbol towards the tank. But we're going to start with the plus symbol towards the seat. So I've had a Kohler toilet for 12 years. This is the original Kohler soft closed seat that came with it, but it did crack on me. So I do have to replace it because of that crack. So 12 years is a pretty good lifespan. I'm gonna tilt these up and we can see, I've got kind of the same design that they had 12 years ago. I'm gonna loosen these screws and then the nuts on the back here, I can just hold those with my hand and that screw will screw out. Okay, so this is my old toilet seat. I've lifted these up. It's got the same quick release screws and, and fixtures that the new ones got. So in theory, I could just leave those installed and just slide the new one on. But you may not know this, but your toilet does have a quick, they call this the quick release for better cleaning. So if you just, you can see how they're kind of loose, but if you just give it kind of a pull, they come loose so that you can clean all this area really good. That's called the quick release feature that your toilet has that you may or may not know about. And we can see the plus sign is installed on the forward facing the seat on these also. Okay, so I got both of the old brackets removed. Now it's gonna be easier to put your brackets on the toilet seat itself, bring it over here, and then put the screws through. That way they're kind of lined up a little easier. Now when you put the screw in, you do have to kind of push the hinge, you do have to kind of push the hinge down so that you can put that bottom nut on. Okay, so I've got my screws in, I got the nuts on the bottom. I don't have these tight all the way, but you're gonna to wanna to make sure the front end is kind of lined up with the front and then tighten these down because you do have some slop in this so before you tighten these all the way make sure it's even on both sides and then tighten them all the way now this is plastic you're not going to want to tighten these down to where they're so smashed that it's not doing its job but you do want them tight you can see that one's starting to smash it a little bit and same with this one so now push these over and that keeps the toilet seat from coming off that quick release is disabled now, but as soon as I push this up, if I wanted to, I can just pull this toilet off. It'll just come right off. See, easy cleaning. The guides go guide it right back. And I just put these on and now it's nice and steady again. So here's why I love these toilet seats. They don't slam. I absolutely love these. And even this part. So if you just throw it down, it goes down nice and easy and it never slams. 
And I've had these last, the, so the, the technology about the slamming, it still lasted 12 years. I just got that crack right here. I really do like these Kohler seats. They just work really nice. This area feels real nice. So I hope this video helps. Thanks everybody for watching.